Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll talk about this Mediatek Diamond City 1200 chipset and uh, this was officially just launched in India and uh, as you can see guys I got this uh, invite for the same and if you open it gives us a highlight about this uh, uh, chipset and uh, guys if you recall in the past two years we have seen a lot of smartphones from Mediatek chipset for example the G series with the hyper en uh, uh, engine for gaming and stuff so Mediatek is now capturing a lot of market and this uh, Diamond City uh, 1200 is actually the latest and uh, if you guys don't know right now Mediatek is the fourth largest global chip manufacturer and their chips are not only used just in smartphones but in a lot of smart devices like uh, Chromebooks, uh, smart TV uh, uh, what do you say um, and uh, even uh, what do you say uh, what do you say voice assistant uh, to name a few in fact a lot of tablets uh, that comes top of mind so we are finding these chipsets in a lot of uh, areas and uh, now let's also move to this Mediatek Diamond City 1200 chipset and guys this is their flagship chipset as of now and uh, as you can see guys uh, this is basically octa-core chipset and uh, it's basically uh, divided into actually three parts the first is the most powerful core that is the ARM Cortex A78 which can be clocked up to 3 gigahertz then we have three cores of ARM uh, a78 that can be clocked up to 2.6 gigahertz then we have uh, that uh, arm cortex uh, a55 which are actually power efficient cores so that's how it is formed and i like the fact that we are using this a78 as the uh, powerful core and these chips are actually now based on 6 nanometer process and mediatek uh, is claims that these chipsets are actually very power efficient thanks to it's based on 6 nanometer process and i think so that might be the case guys if you recall uh, with the mediatek diamond city a 800 uh, U uh, that I tested a few smartphones earlier it was a very power efficient chipset so I'm hoping the same even with this one moving to refresh rates these days we are finding high refresh rates on most modern smartphones uh, this chipset actually supports high refresh rates up to 168 uh, uh, so that's actually a very nice thing and also it is uh, supposed to have a new APU which is supposed to be about 12.5% faster and as you can see with this image it's capable of uh, images up to 200 megapixel uh, it has that new powerful 5 core image signaling processor and uh, it can also shoot videos in 4k with three staged uh, exposure for HDR and also it can do 4k video uh, decoding and even encoding uh, up to 60 fps S. and also apart from that also it has the uh, huge improvements in AI photography of course uh, this chipset is also 5G enabled all the Diamond City chipsets are 5G enabled so this one is also 5G enabled and uh, it supports dual band 5G and it's one of the first chips to provide dual 5G with 5G carrier aggregation uh, so it's a 5G chipset uh, and of course it supports Wi-Fi 6 now you might be asking uh, which chipset can it be uh, compared to so this Mediatek Diamond City 200 can be compared sort of to the Snapdragon 870 uh, chipset but I feel this is slightly better in a few aspects for example if you recall the Snapdragon 870 is based on actually 7 nanometer process this is based on that 6 nanometer process and also uh, the powerful core is the A78 on this uh, Diamond City 1200 whereas in the Snapdragon 870 if I recall it was the A77 uh, so again uh, I feel this is actually a very good chipset and uh, uh, this will be a very important chipset for India and I've heard that we should be getting quite a few uh, new smartphones with this Mediatek Diamond City 1200 chipset even in India in the next couple of months. So I'm actually uh, excited about this chipset when these new smartphones come out I will definitely try to test them out but what do you guys feel about this Mediatek Diamond City 1200 chipset do let me know in the comment section below and guys if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button. That's it for now thanks for watching and I'll catch you later guys.